ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fasten your seatbelt sign. You are now free to move about the city of New York. I am ready to party. Hey. The Republican National Convention begins tomorrow, and I guess the city that never sleeps is now taking a little nap. Oh shit, I missed that. It wasn't recorded. Do that again. Do that again. Dude, do you want to do this or not? Yeah, I promised Mary that if you take the convention, it's the only way that I can get to come down here with you. She got you on a tight leash, huh? Yeah, dude, she got me on a tight leash. Got a little stranglehold, dude. You ready? No. Yes, and a big hidey ho, boys and girls. It's me, Captain Salty, your man on the street, with my brother in video and boon companion, Ethan, coming to you live from the crossroads of the world, 42nd Street, bringing you the 2004 Republican National Convention. Dude, what is wrong? Thing is, like, when you're looking through the thing, that's all you can see. I want to do things, too. I don't want to be just, like, stuck behind this peephole all day. Use the flip-out screen. You see, you flip it around. You can see yourself, isn't that cool? Yeah, man. It's self-analysis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's got, that's got it. Go, 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 go. Dude, where, where was I, bro? We're at the crossroads of the world, man. Through the magic of modern technology, we can see the universe born a billion years ago. But can we find ourselves on our digital road trip? Is America here in the greatest city of the world? We're going to be walking the streets like Jack Kerouac, the Beasties, and King Kong walked looking around, and monsters will see these streets again. And I'm just love starved adventurer, looking, and I'm hungry. Hell, that was so corny, bro. Yeah, that's good. That was good. Keep it up, man. You're on a roll. It's not good. Put that down. I don't want you to take my picture. He's not going to steal your soul or anything. Yeah, well, I don't want to end up on an FBI bulletin or on his porn site either. Would you put that camera down while I'm talking to you? I wasn't taking your picture. It wasn't on? Look, maybe you should go back home to Jersey before you get into trouble. Oh, okay. Connecticut. We're from Connecticut. We're here for the convention. Oh, you're a Republican. Oh, we're, here to, we're here to videotape the convention. Yeah, me and my boy Ethan, we're a team. He's got the camera, I got the mic. And when we get back, we're going to put something real cool together. You guys should go to the demonstration. I'm going there now, it's not too far. Back it up, back it up. Gotta back it up. Republicans gone wild. We'd like to spend most of our time up at the, the what was it, the, the garden? Mm -hmm. Like where the, the action is. We're on a mission to show the world the big picture. And plus, we promised this group. We promised, this girl we promised we... these people back home that we'd follow the convention. This, this group, this radical group that I know. What radical group is that? Yeah, uh, they, they don't they really have like a. I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> I understand that totally. It's a nice camera. You shoot a lot? Yeah, I shoot some. Document things. What's up, bro? Yeah, but, I mean, you don't want to get in any trouble. The cops, they're going to break shit up, and then, you know. If everyone's getting arrested, who's going to who's gonna watch the Republicans? Forget the Republicans. They're going to cover the demonstrations. Yeah, that's going to be real interesting. Well, that's where the real story is going to be. People trying to exercise their rights in this police state we call America. People on the streets are going to be putting their lives on the line. This is not play. It's dangerous to express yourself in this country. It's a matter of life and death. Whatever, I guess it's interesting and exciting. We're just, we're just here to have some fun, you know? Making fun of Republicans. We don't mean any disrespect. Yeah, I mean, can we, can we like do something with you? Can I interview you? You can really hook us up and we don't really know how to use this camera, I mean, really help us out. Your That's name cool. is Ethan? Yeah. 
Mine's Red Cloud. Red Cloud? Yeah, he was a famous Native American war chief. I don't use my real name on the street with strangers. My name is Matt. They call me Che. Everybody's called Che. So come on now, can we do this? Yeah, sure. Two, one. Action. Okay, ladies and gerbilistas, here we are in the midst of the Empress Center of Anarchy, New York City. Gigantic demonstrations are going to be planned this week against the Republican rule, and we're just so happy to be with the most talented, extremely serious Indian guide, Red Cloud, of the street peeps. You know, are coming straight from the warpath. Hey, hey, Red Cloud, what do you got to say? Look, I'm wasting my time talking to you kids. Turn that fucking thing off and go home. This is life. My life. You're not going to fuck with it. Hey, Red Cloud, come back here. My man Ethan, he's got the hots for you. Red Cloud. Excuse me, fellas. Peace, peace. One, one love. No, no disrespect back there. You know what I mean? My bad. My bad. I didn't mean anything by it. It's all good, man. Where are you from anyway? The multi-universe. The kitchen nebula. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where the fat girls cook all day and kiss all night. <laughs> but look, you guys want to go to a party? Yeah, I'm yeah. done. Then I don't give a fuck at all, y'all. Hey. Those hypocrites out on November 2nd. They do not support you. No, I'm voting for Bush. Four more years! Four more years! Four more years! 
Who put the lickin' in Republican? Who put the pub in Republican? Who put the rat in demo? Who put the lick in the lickin'? <laughs> <laughs> $10 donation to get in tonight. It's a bailout benefit for people who might get arrested this week. Radicals. Radicals? Maybe. But compared to what? They're just an alternative media source, bro. And besides, they throw great parties. Come on, so you're gonna spot me 10 bucks or what? My money source is on the inside. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. for you all day. Oh, yeah? Look, I'm, I'm sorry for acting so stupid earlier. Please, let me... Cloud, what's the deal? I thought we were dancing. We need a little minute here. Cloud? Look, are we dancing or what? Walking. I don't see how you think you can just We were here. dancing and I turn around and you disappear. What? It's boys this week? Megan, I don't even know him. You're a real piece of work. Don't be an asshole, I just met Dyke. him. Causing any trouble. Don't worry. <laughs> She's into the drama. I couldn't believe it when I saw you up there. It's pretty amazing how you found this party. I've been searching for you all day. In the crowds. I really got into it. The, the, the march, all the people. The shooting made me feel like I, I was part of it. Mm -hmm. Contributing. And now I find you. This is my lucky day. I hope it's good luck. You know, my boy, the night's here. I did. What are you trying to do? My name is Che. Okay. So, what are you doing here, Che? I'm you here. A tourist? I'm here for the party, you know, the benefit. What do you do? I'm a member of the alternative press. The alternative press. But what do you do in South I mean, is it on the web? Is it a blog? It's like a revolutionary alternative type of thing, you know. My man, he's got the camera. I do some of the interviews. You know, come down here, ask some questions. Oh. What's up there? That's the roof. That's where people go to smoke. Open your heart, open your mind. It's time to live free. 
What does that have to do with anything? Yo, honestly, that's all. You know, I want to know who I'm talking to here. I asked you how old you are and you can't tell me? Look, I'm 25, all right? Big fucking deal. I thought we were talking about guns and Columbine. Look, I don't know you, man. I don't know who I'm talking to. My name is Mac, all right? Mac? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a real name. Marsh, you know this guy? Leave him alone, Eddie. He's all right. I'm just trying to make some time with this lady over here, OK? Look, brothers, look, brothers, he came with me. Him and his buddy. These guys are OK. Man, shut up, man. Look, I don't want any problem, all right? I'm just well, trying to- you got to... problems. You know, you come up in here, starting a lot of shit, talking about shooting things up. Are you a cop? Yo, fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck me. Hey, yo, fuck you! Yo, 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 yo. What the hell's going on here? I'm about to shake some ID off of this motherfucking knock. Okay, this is my buddy. We're together, man. I'm gonna take you both apart, Hold then, on. I... I know him, all right? You know this guy, Clark. Yes, this is Ethan, and that's Mac. Maybe he just talks too much. He's from Connecticut. See, that's what they got us doing, attacking each other. Well, you better start schooling your boy some. You know, teaching protest one-on-one or some shit. I thought we were all in this together. What kind of shit just is this? just doesn't get it. It's about undercovers, man. Spies. The cops have planted people here. People just like you who are watching us. You guys are being as paranoid as the police. They see terrorists everywhere. You see undercover cops. I saw all those people today marching, and they were for real. But the police are going to do what they're told to do. But those people were together. And nothing's going to take that away from them. That's the idea, right, man? Maybe they've got orders to make us look bad. They want to they wanna stop us. But we got the tools, man. We're digital. We got the hot media. They sold us their own destruction, the technology to get at them. But they don't know what to do about it, huh? You can't do anything about the cops. If they're here, they're here. Just don't do anything that might get us in trouble. Besides, trouble's gonna find us anyways. I don't know where you came up with that stuff you were saying, but... I pulled it out of my ass, man. <laughs> you saved me big time, bro. I thought I was going over this roof. But that was good, right? What I said? <laughs> yeah, what you said. I just, I couldn't figure it out. You were like, digital tools, we're here, saving the universe, something. I was like... The IMC's got this space set up to edit video and audio. They're putting out a newspaper. Someone's continuously updating the website. We're putting out cable here in Manhattan, and there's the satellite feed. It's all pretty amazing. You guys should check all that out. Sounds amazing. And this is amazing, huh? Meeting you. I haven't been town half an hour, and then I lost you, and now I'm standing with a beautiful woman. Where are you guys staying? We're staying in the DeVille Towers. Where's that? We parked it over on 8th Street. It's Cadillac DeVille, 1984. Classic. You guys are sleeping in your car? No, yeah, it's great for the back, and pretty ladies sleep for free. Oh, that's very nice, but I like to sleep in my own bed. OK, see, it's ideologies like that, so extreme, that keep us divided. I see. And you have no rules? Something to live by? No. My credo is love. An open heart. One love. Blind love. Love for all things. Love, love for everybody. <laughs> In the Cadillac. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where you find it. I mean, everything else is for sale. Nothing is genuine but love. And love is everywhere. <laughs> I had a really good time. Yeah, me too. I'm sure I'll see you around. I hope so. I'd really like to work with you. Learn how to be part of something important. I have a friend I'm already working with. Couldn't we just meet up? We can see how you operate. You could teach us the skinny where to go, who to talk to. <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. 
<laughs> Come too close and you might get burned. Why don't you meet me tomorrow? At noon, right below the Flatiron Building, 23rd and Broadway. Yeah, okay. Okay? Cool. Now go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. Hey. One love. One world. Shit, $115, bro. Dude, I swore we wouldn't get a ticket. Now $115? Yeah, but we're sleeping in the car. They couldn't walk us up? You gotta be a little bit more chill. Naomi's gonna. Naomi? Yeah, that's her name. Red Cloud's name. Yeah, Naomi. I understand. Look, I almost got my ass kicked last night. You understand? She thinks we know what we're doing, so... Yeah, I I'm trying to make you look good, and I... Bro. You get this ticket, you know. Mary. Dude. What if we split up, Z? We can... We've each got a camera. We can cover twice as much ground. Is this guy cute? He's cute. They're both cute. And Mac's great with people. He got some talking. And you know the city, you're great with the camera. You make a good team. Uh-huh. Look, I think we can really get some good stuff if we split up. You know, twice as much coverage. I just don't like working with somebody I don't know. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Hey, how you guys doing? We're good. How'd you sleep? We slept like little babies. Crackhead babies with AIDS. <laughs> we got a parking ticket. Oh, welcome to New York. This yeah. is Z, my friend. She's uh, going to work with us today. Ethan? Hey, I'm Mac. Hey. So I figure we could uh, split into two teams, me and Ethan and Mac and Z. That way we can be in two places at once, cover twice as much ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm the wife of Ed Buddy Bombing that owns a very big oil company. We come from Crawford, Texas, but we have a lot of East Coast money connections to Standard Oil and whatnot. And we're so happy about this war and more wars like it to come because we're getting so rich and we're pleased. Yeah! Oh, and this is our friend, W. Turn around, turn around, show them your little kid. Go ahead. Honey, look, Tinty, and our friend, 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 Tinty, and our Yeah. 
Well, we ain't gonna be doing anything wrong. Yeah, but the thing is, if the cops start to sweep the street and make crackdown, they're gonna pick up everybody, regardless of what they're doing. So we gotta keep it together and have an exit strategy plan and escape route wherever we go. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. What, do I talk to the demonstrators or the police first? Choose whoever you can get to talk to you. But beware the cops. Alone, they're very human, but when they get together in a force, they become impenetrable. You don't want to provoke them. If they choose somebody out of the crowd they don't like, and those are the people, when the order comes down, they pick up. So be cool with the cops. going out and seeing the city and, and, you know, all sorts of different things going on, so just enjoying those. And we're just commenting on how well the New York Police Department and the, the Fire Department have done protecting us and keeping the streets safe and, and us in a little, a little bubble almost, so to speak. Kept the demonstrators so, away from yeah. us. And, yeah. Kept them at bay and, and allowed us to go about our business. Can we ask you a little bit what the pretzels are about? Well, this is pretty much the only truth that has come out of the White House when he choked on the pretzel. To a failure, of course, like everything else. Groove it, girl, groove it! Why do I want to get that? This is the real deal, Ethan. This isn't the convention? All right. The rich corporate suits are in their protected enclaves deciding the fate of the country while the working people are out here being forced through metal barricades. Look, I, all I'm saying is I just don't think that we get we should get too close. Fine, then you can stay here and do nothing.
Please, Minky, there are laws here. Laws? <laughs> We're anarchists. What, what do we care about laws? If the cops come in here and you are smoking, they will arrest you. If the fire department comes in here and you are smoking, they will shut us down. Please, they could raid this place at any time. I thought we were safe from the cops. <laughs> we're not safe from the cops, man. They always know where you're going, what you're doing. When I smoke, I go outside. I gotta go. Get outside, yes. Mickey. Get this. See you people later. Peace out, everybody. The one over there labeled Commander Marcos, open till 10. Do you think you can get something together by then? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Peggy, this is Ethan. Hi. Ethan hey. and I were working together today. Okay. Peggy's a space coordinator. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go get started. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, because I'm in the middle of something. Okay. Okay, bye. Sorry about uh, earlier on today. Sorry for yelling at you. So, I don't know, the cops pushing people around oh, just no, got me it's really. Okay. You know, this is a great shot. Look how much better you got over the day. Hmm. It's unbelievable. You have a good eye. Thank you very much. What's this? I guess I didn't know the camera was on. <laughs> A famous foot shot. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? What are you trying to? Hey, what's going on? What are you trying to? Hey, what's going on? What are you trying to? Hey, what's going on? What are you trying to get done out here today? Well, you know, these are 1,000 coffins of the U.S. soldiers who were killed fighting in Iraq, and the Bush administration really tried to play down personalizing what's, of course, very personal when people die in war. Well, it's important that people be counted, and it's important to stand up. You know, it's like I'm 40, and when I came on the earth, like all the jobs that I've had, I wouldn't have been able to have, I wouldn't have had because black people weren't allowed to have them. So to me, I felt other people have done the work for us, so we have to do the work for the next generations. It sounds corny, but that's the only, I mean, that's the only thing you can do. This is like, that's good composition. That's like, that's like award-winning cinematography. Let's see. Who shook that? I did. You like it. It's alright. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. It's good. It's perfecto. We're agreed, right? Our piece is done? Yeah, yeah, yeah shit, yeah, we're done. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to you. See, I told you they'd be here. Hey, where you guys been? Uh, we were at the Poor People's March. How was that? That started off great. We were at the UN. The cops actually let them march even though they didn't have a permit. We were on 8th Avenue. And then they like start putting these barricades right down the middle of the street. So you gotta go right or left. You know, separating everybody right in the middle of the march. Did you get it on tape? Okay. Okay, well, we're almost done over here. You can take over when we're finished. Naomi's teaching me how to edit. Cool. Z, would it be all right if we kept this arrangement going? You and Mac and me and Ethan? We're working really well together. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Look, there's, there's, there's got to be deeper feelings. Everybody's searching for meaning. Patriotism, religion, yoga, diet. You can't yoga. buy meaning. You know, it's discipline. You gotta focus your energy. What's that? Mm -hmm. Just a friend. Call him later. Do you wanna come up? Yeah. Still so bizarre and fresh in my memory. 
They had cops on plain clothes, on motorcycles, running motherfuckers over. All up on my calf muscle. Some fat fucking pig chick. Boom. I'm like, are you a cop or are you just trying to run me the fuck over? You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't the only one. Out of control. I know plenty of people saw this. Were they, were they, they were plain clothes cops? Plain clothes on motorcycles. Because I saw them running into people and then someone got, one of them not, got knocked over and started getting kicked. And all of a sudden the cops just came in like, and they, they were just, they just were running into people. Running into people. Just feel really close to you after this day. You're patient. I'm charming. Hey. I'm really tired and crowded. You have a lot of visitors staying over. It's alright. We gotta focus our energies for tomorrow. Um, thanks so much for today. It means a lot to me. It's a lot to me too. <laughs> Good night. Sweet dreams. Hey, Nayam. What's up, Hey, what's up? Touch, you might need this. Alright, do a bagel. My pinup shot. So, yes, my name's Julia. I am 20 years old. I'm a student from Philadelphia. Um, these are my other two burn marks. Hi, um, I'm That's, I guess it. Oh, I was arrested on Sunday evening at around 5 o'clock and I was let out um, on Monday at 7.30. And by the way, just for the record, that's a moderately like easy arrest time. Most of the people I've talked to have been arrested for or held for much longer. Uh, from lying down in Pier 57 in rusty motor oil. Yeah, it's inhumane. It's like toxic waste in there. Yeah, a lot of people have them. Oh, the pier used to be an uh, old bus depot. I spent 18 hours in jail. Having never been arrested before in my life, and I'm 54 years old, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> I think somewhere along the line, someone forgot to read the Bill of Rights. You know, free speech, freedom of the press, the right to peacefully assemble, and we were peacefully assembling. <laughs> Evidently, that right is, you know, they cut it out. Why should the constitutional right to freedom of speech be criminalized? Somehow, people who don't agree with this administration are so disturbing to those in power that they have to be taken off the streets. These cops are scared. 
they really are, yeah, I mean, cops we forget, I don't like cops, but they are human beings, and they get scared the way we do. And when I was talking to some of them, I could hear the fear when they were saying, but you know, if it gets this way and if it gets that way, they don't know what they're doing. Half of them have never done this kind of duty before. They're narcs, there's something, they, they know, know the neighborhood, they don't know the people. So when they see some of the anarchist group come along, they, they just, they're like bulldogs, they go. to see people when you're in one of those. I was afraid at first to come to any protest because I don't trust the police and I know that they can wow out and you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time and end up hurt, you know? You feel like this RNC has disrupted the city in a bad way? I don't think it's disrupting the city. We're doing our thing anyway. As long as, as, long as we're peaceful, because I have a daughter he was in Chicago in 1968, and it was not a very peaceful demonstration there. So I'm very pleased. You're getting better at this. Yes. Looking a little more comfortable. Trying a lot of sad stories. Yeah. Infinity vibrates. Infinity vibrates? Infinity Are you talking about God or? No. no. Infinity vibrates causing energy. Evolved to creative energy, the creator. Endless thought process. That vibration of infinity is all around us. Okay. You, you did a lot of acid in the 70s, didn't you? Before they put them drugs in your brain. They, before they put them drugs in my brain, they should have to put them drugs in your brain. You don't like America, you can leave. My brother, if you don't like America because you are just as dark as I am, no. you can leave too. I love America. I'm for America. I don't despise America. Everyone knows, even Republicans, Independents, Democrats, they all know that 9-11 is being exploited. And no one likes it. No one. What you think is the difference between Democrats and Republicans? I don't know what the difference is exactly. There is no difference. But I think that it shows them that we're fighting each other and that we need the police to We are fighting each other because I want the liberals out of the fucking movement. You want the liberals out of the fucking movement? They, they, they always fuck over radicals when they co opt the women because they we want to. We have people whose march has been detained at Fulton Street who were trying to march from the former World Trade Center site towards Madison Square Garden. We also have a bike walk that has been detained at 40th Street. And Too many people with fucking cameras, not enough protesters. Only in the wake of 9 11 could the police justify this political repression that I have never seen and probably most people here have never seen this level of police repression. These policemen are not here to protect us. They are not here to protect us. They are here to repress us. They are here to crush the movement. All I'm saying is that I don't think we, I'm just stuck in the middle of this. I don't think we should be getting so close to this. I'm like brushing shoulders with cops. I don't want to end up in that. You know what? Fine, then you can stay over here. A fight of the people to peacefully assemble. A first amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, if you don't want to do this, just say it now. Oh, okay, let's go. I'm, I'm down. Today's not your day. Maybe tomorrow. All right? All right, it is what it is. I'm supposed to, like, believe that... Uh, that you're not supposed to believe that people are bad, that cops are evil, the whole system, the whole government is corrupt. You think you're better than me? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Some of these cops, they look so young. It's like, you know, we're just wearing different clothes than them. Uniforms make you choose up sides. Yeah, I mean, whatever. They're just trying to make a living, right? They chose to be cops. Come back 
even tell me, okay? What are you gonna do when you get back home to Connecticut? Same shit I always done, really. A whole lot of nothing? Yeah. All right. Out. Go fishing. You fish? Mm -hmm. You fish? Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Okay. I'm a uh, alternative <laughs> angler. I haven't heard of that. It's a small sect in my community. Okay. No, I see, I see. I gotta be there by now. What are you gonna do? Keep making video. <laughs> you know? There's one thing I can say, you're definitely committed. Gotta be. Being lazy just gets you four more years of tyranny. I guess we'll see what happens. You can't walk down the street. It's like a police state. It's crazy. I am so offended and upset and appalled. It's just disgusting. And I said, you're doing this because I have a carry button on. I know that's why you're doing this. No, you can't go through. Can we talk to you for a second? Where are you from? Oh, you got the fucking agents coming. Where were you on September 11th? Where were you? Try, try to interview one of these one of these uh, these delegates that are coming kidding? by. I'm serious. Are you kidding? They're, Why you not? You think they're gonna stop? You think they're gonna stop and talk to us? You don't know that. All right, we'll just try. Act, just ask. I tried back there. You can you can you can get anybody to talk. Get a job. Just get a job. Get that that argument does not work. I have a job. Get a job. I have a job. This Gestapo is under the power of the mayor of this city. This is a Gestapo type of a siege. The next thing they're going to do is start putting us in ovens, baking us, just like the Nazis. Austria. Austria. Oh! 
saying our streets dun, dun, our streets and systematically they've just been pulling them over a group of them were surrounded by officers over there and they weren't allowed they were standing in the middle of the, of the thing and they were surrounded and they weren't allowed to get out and one by one they started handcuffing them and one of the news ladies just like you guys was thrown to the floor thrown to the floor Put up his foot up our asses, and he grabbed his uh, he grabbed his back to get him out of the way. You should have seen one of the cops on a bike just rode his bikes right into right. us. Just rode his bicycles right into my wife. Are you See, here they come again. Sorry. Were you here in the start? No, we were there. We were running down the street. You must clear the side of the sidewalk, please. You must clear the side of the sidewalk, please. Please walk north. Please walk north. You must clear the side of the sidewalk. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. You must clear this side of the sidewalk. Please step out of the street and you'll be arrested. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. Thank you. Right up to the corner, please. You must clear this side of the sidewalk, please. They used to be Ryan's when you get down there. Right up to the corner, please. I'm munching so I'm munching so I can take pictures. So one of them tells us he's gonna put their foot up our asses. The other one touches you. My time. I reserved that shit. Look, I'm almost finished, okay? This is too important. I gotta get it out. This is bullshit. Get your ass up. All right, that's enough. We're having a meeting right now. Everybody get over here. What, we gotta stop working? Not again. Ethan, come on. 
Okay, we've just got to get this straight. If somebody has reserved an editing machine, they have priority. But I don't see why I have to stop working if I'm there first. I need to get to work. Damn it. I got kids getting their head busted open by the cops. Yeah, but I can't get to finish my piece because Eddie here wants to work on his puppet. I think we have to show more than just violence. Eddie's right. All we ever see is cops beating the hell out of people. I mean, what? You're going to show puppet footage? We get chased around all day by the cops, tell us we're going to get arrested. You got to show the real action. It's really going on. We've got to show everything. I mean, we're hot wired to the people. We're embedded in the streets. Nobody knows what's going on in New York right now. The networks, all they're showing is Giuliani and Arnold with their speeches, what the delegates are wearing, what they're eating. Everything we do is valid. We're all representing different voices here. You think they're gonna show happy demonstrators, puppets and kids? They most certainly are not gonna show cops getting out of control. So we have to. This discussion is all good, but we've got to reach a consensus about how to operate here. I mean, we had discussed that people could reserve time, and now that's breaking down. That's not the reality. We should prioritize. If you've got something hot like Megan, you shouldn't have to wait. But if people have reserved editing you stations... You throw somebody off the machine. Sure you can, otherwise it's just chaos. Some video is more important than others. So who's to decide that? We'll vote. We will spend all night voting. It's democracy, darling. Democracy takes a while. Democrats and Republicans, the same thing. They're both crooks. It's not about the politicians. It's to turn this country around. We're polluting the planet. We're about total greed. You know, who's hungry? One's bagels. Where'd you get them? Surprise all the good things you can find in a dumpster. Oh. No. We throw away so much good stuff in this country. It's a sin. Look, I got tomatoes, I got pears, I got more bagels. Look, I haven't scored all kinds of cheese today. You like cheese, right? <laughs> Last night, a thousand people got arrested. I don't want to get in any trouble, you know what I mean? I don't know who's a cop around here. I've had a terrible four years under, the, under this administration, and um, I don't believe in coincidence, you know? And uh, I'm, I'm against this president. I'm not necessarily, I might vote for Nader, I might, I might vote for Kerry, I'm not sure yet but I'm definitely not gonna vote for Bush. When he keeps talking about the creation of jobs and, and people going back to work, what jobs is he talking about? Where in this country is, talk, is he talking about? I'm a member of a labor union. I know about working, working men and women, and I don't know what jobs this man is talking about or where, he's at, where, where these jobs are. The only jobs I see creating, created are jobs that are paying half of the jobs that have been lost over the last four or five years. Where is this, where is this America that he's talking about? It's not in my backyard. If you don't want to do this anymore, then go home or just go away. This is fucking pissing me off. You know, like this is gonna stop the war or some shit? This is gonna do any good? I don't know. All your negative crap, I just can't listen to it anymore. All your sarcasm and cynical shit. It's just too easy. It's just a fucking cop out. Association of 
firefighters. This is a union town. Free media, hallelujah! Free media, hallelujah! Free media, hallelujah! Oh, while well, we feel the spirit today, I want the echoes from that Kundalini flash coming in my uh, spinal column right now. I want the echoes to go up into these corporate giants above us. This reified death of the First Amendment above us. We are David and Goliath, but we're beginning to look down on them as we connect with each other in the indie media. We're on the phones. We're on the emails. We're in bed together. We're swimming together. We're broadcasting together. We're on the airwaves together. We're connecting. We're connecting. We're making a new God. The God of independent media. The goddess of independent media. We're rising up. We're rising up like bread. They won't know what happened. They'll be like little boats on the shore. And we'll be talking to each other. And all we will ever have done is just come full circle back to the ultimate prayer. It's the prayer that we all want to recite when we go to the church of Pier 57. Repeat after me. Congress shall make no law. Respecting the establishment of religion. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs> in in uh, the Midwest. <laughs> so your son, where did he go? To Iraq? My son died in Iraq in March, two, March 27, 2003. It's the first casualties in this immoral war. And the government lied me about what happened to my son. The government told me my son died with the enemy fire. And I find the truth, and the truth is my son died when I stepped the American cluster bomb. And the cluster bone is illegal according to the UN and Geneva Convention. And how did you find out about this? This uh, ridiculously bad, you believe me. ABC News journalist is with my son company what happened this way. And these men got with me to the Iraq in December 2003. I visited Iraq. And these men showed me the video and they played my son dying. The video of your son dying. They got him. The fucking cops grabbed him. Who? Mac. They arrested him. What for? I, I don't know. Where is he? I don't know. It was on 6th Avenue. Okay. I was shooting him talking into the camera. Rolling? So here we are, me and Z once again at the protest, doing our thing, yes, checking out. Movie time help you with Movie something. Time's over. Go. 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 Z, Z, Z. Z, it's that guy. See how he's coming up behind Matt. Does that help you with something? And there's the other guy. I don't know what they thought we were doing. All of a sudden, they surrounded us. We didn't know who they were. What'd you find out? Not much. There's no record he's been arrested. He's not even in their database. And they say they won't update it until late tonight. And, you know, there's so many people. Uh, I can't do a little bit. Movie time is going to help you. Can I help you? Movie time is going to help you. Movie time is over. Go. Go. Go.
are so lucky to find each other. You know, to, to, to come here in the middle of all this and to fall in love. Look, you're just upset and vulnerable. Well, you lost your friend and you're feeling alone. No, no, I know how I feel. It's not enough that we're sleeping together, sharing our bodies. You gotta make this some kind of commitment. I love you. That's great. That's great. You've known me for three days. You fall in love with every girl you sleep with? Okay, snap out of it. I don't even know if love is possible in this self-destructive world. Do you see all this injustice in the world? Doesn't that mean anything to you? Well, sure. But you mean more. It's too much. I just can't let it be what it is. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. I just, I was gonna call last night, but it got so late. Yeah. yeah. No, sure, I want to... Yes, I want to talk to you. No. My battery's died. You know, I always forget to... Yeah, I've been really busy. No, oh, you know, the convention. It's all over tonight. Bush's big speech. Yeah, I'll be home tomorrow. You know I do. Yeah, I'm gonna see my little redhead girl. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, baby. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. Age 19. Chief Warrant Officer 2, Robert Wisdom Chanel Jr., age 36. Specialist Andrew F. Chris, age 25. Sergeant Timothy M. Conway, age 22. Specialist Charles G. Height, age 23. Chief Warrant Officer 2, Brian D. Hazelgrove, age 29. Specialist Stephen D. Dusty Gilbert, age 25. That's why I despise him. Private First Class Howard Johnson II, age 21. Chief Warrant Officer Philip A. Johnson Jr., age 31. Sergeant Jason D. Jordan, age 24. Specialist Cedric Lamont Lennon, age 32. Private Kelly Stephen Pruitt, age... everybody up on the street and telling everybody on the sidewalk, just keep moving, you'll be fine, we're going to let you go. And I said, you know, what, what's this all about? I said to one officer, why, why aren't you guys out fighting terrorists? He said, lady, you are the terrorists. We will step to the podium at 710 Pacific time on the speech that is expected to run about 45 minutes on the topics, the war on terror, the economy, for the next four years. Hey, dude. What's going on, bro? 
seen that? Have you seen Red Cloud? Red Cloud? Yeah. No, not today. Ah, fuck. We had a fight. I don't know where she is. Okay, okay. Where, where's your boy Mac? In jail. He got busted last night. Oh. Yeah. Ah, it's not good. I got something that might make your day. I scored this pass from a guy I know, right? It's not just any pass, bro. It is a media pass. Okay. The Republican convention. Get you right in. Okay. <laughs> Look, you know they would never let me in. Not like this. It's you. You could pass for one of them. <laughs> Listen, bro. Hold on a second. All you gotta do is act like you know what you're doing. That's all. Just play it cool. Red Cloud would go crazy. You got some video from the Republican convention on the floor. The belly of the beast. Bro, right? More on you. No, just say it once, remember? I said okay. just say it once. Okay. He's a great director. That is so great that you got in. Yeah. And they were so nice to me. It's scary nice. It's ridiculous. Have you seen Naomi? Red Cloud was here earlier, but everybody left. They went to the demonstration at the garden for Bush's speech. Oh, it's just there. Did Sir lend people out of jail yet? <laughs> Word is nobody gets out until Bush leaves town. See you later. Hey, where's Red Cloud? I don't know, over there somewhere. Right, you cannot stand on the corner blocking for 
Two days now. Wow. Hope they'll let him out soon. What are you guys doing anyway? Nothing, we're just hanging out. You guys undercovers? Undercovers? What are you talking about? You guys look like undercover cops. No. Uh, we're just hanging out watching traffic go by. So you don't mind if I get a shot of you? Alright, get out of here, kid, before you get yourself in trouble. Just a quick shot. Just get the camera out of my face. So, like, who are you working for? Are you with the city? The feds? Yeah, I'm, uh, Dirty Harry. It's my partner, Batman. I get lost now. Can I have an interview? Oh, turn the camera off! What are you waiting for, Gary? There's a break. The protesters are gonna escape. I'm not gonna tell you again. Go before you get yourself hurt. Dangerous terrorists locked up in there? Now you're just being fucking stupid, pal. I am not gonna tell you again. You must be real proud of the work you're doing. Get, tell me about it. Get the it. camera off! 